Uh, welcome to Explore Home Repeat. My name's Matt. And I'm Izzy. And today we are at Twycross Zoo in Leicestershire. Um, really excited to come here. Today we're going to find out if it's worth coming, uh, what it's like, and is it worth your hard earned money. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. We do loads of days out, upload once a week. And don't forget to hit that like button as well. It really helps support our channel. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go and explore. So just to give you an idea of prices, adults are $21.95, children $16.95 and under two years old go free. Um, you can get annual passes as well, so adults £65. Um, but that then does give you sort of discounts in the shop and restaurants and you can get in 364 days a year. Izzy's going to do her best uh, weather person impersonation and just give us a quick guide round the uh, map of the park before we head in. So we came in at the entrance, uh, this big Himalaya uh, visitor centre and the, we've just come through the ticket booths. So you can see there's a conservation way, there's meerkats and leopards zebras um, and then the big tiger exhibition which I think is supposed to be really big We've spent millions of pounds doing it um, you can see there's a big chimpanzee area right over in the far corner so we're definitely going to head there all the usual stuff so giraffes rhinos tortoises monkeys wallabies loads of stuff to look at oh yeah penguins we love a penguin exhibit so let's go and find out what this place is like one thing that's quite unique about uh, Twycross Zoo is that they have Costa Coffee here. So we only just got here, we're just queuing up. Izzy's waiting, we're gonna get maybe a couple of cups of tea. But it's quite nice to know you can get decent coffee and cakes and things at a zoo. Just waiting for our hot drinks. And we noticed this really sort of pretty area just outside these big windows with this lake and, or pond. And then we realized it's the snow leopard enclosure. So you can be sitting here drinking your Costa coffee in this visitor center and there's a possibility you might see a snow leopard outside. Wouldn't that be amazing? Lorikeet landing area is quite like a big area to uh, see the birds fly around and feed them. So Matt's got a little pot for them to feed from. So I will go and see if he has any luck. Ah, Matt has been super lucky. He's got like two. Oh wow, look at that. That's incredible. He's braver than me, but oh, look at that. That's amazing. So one bird completely emptied my pot in the matter of seconds. Yeah. But that was really cool. <laughs> We've never done this before. Yeah. And that is really cool to have it sitting on your hand. It's amazing. Definitely worth a pound just for one the pot. One pound for a pot of nectar. It doesn't last very long, obviously. But that is brilliant, really good. So one thing we always try and do, particularly at things like zoos, uh, which have a big influx of uh, visitors right at the start of the day is when we get in we walk right to the far end of the park and then do the whole park kind of in reverse to everyone else and it means I mean we're at the gorilla enclosure right now and there's no one else here no. yet if you go to the front of the park it's absolutely packed with people so that's a top tip so those gorillas we saw earlier are western lowland gorillas critically endangered and we're just having a look in their indoor bit now I think Izzy's made a friend. Okay. Just it's having a smaller. sit down. Such a oh. Oh, it's all... Well, we wanted a bit more action when we came in here and we definitely seem to have it. Is that a dad? Look, Izzy's doing a dad back there. Oh yeah, it's a big, we can get a shot of him. So 
But I guess this is the main silverback male and he is huge. That gorilla enclosure, make sure you go inside. It was amazing, it's so close. And there was a, quite a few of them in there and they were all charging around. Yeah, just um, when they run, the weight. You yeah, feel, you can really like hear, hear the, the sort of, of feel the vibrations in the floor. And, and then there was like a few cracks in the glass. A bit disconcerting. Um, I know, but... they've obviously had a bit of a go at the windows at some point, but I mean, it's not surprising. Yeah. The size of them, the amount of weight and power yeah. behind them, when they're that close to you, you can really see it. Uh, so yeah, that is highly recommended. That's one of the best sort of gorilla enclosures for being able to get really yeah, up really close to them. thing we were saying just as we were wandering around is some of the theming kind of around the the park is not perhaps quite so good as other zoos we've been to recently no. uh, places like West Midland Safari Park or Cotswold Wildlife Park uh, Chester Zoo obviously it is a bit of a smaller zoo um, but this bit over by the giraffes yeah. and the rhinos it's got a bit more of sort of like a jungly feel yeah. they perhaps it's a newer area maybe like that. maybe they've definitely worked on it and like brought in like wood and like big plants and bamboo yeah, and it make kind it of gives it that like feel. Sort of a bit more tropical. Yeah. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is wear decent sort of footwear. A um, lot of the paths, particularly on a sort of a rainy day, are quite muddy. It's sort of gravelly, slushy mud. Um, it's not all tarmac. So make sure you wear sort of a decent pair of fairly waterproof shoes. now just walking into the chimpanzee Eden area and it's really nicely themed seeing what we can what we can find so we're now entering another sort of newer part of the zoo which is Gibbon Forest Again, you have to wear face masks when you're in any of the indoor areas. So that Gibbon Forest is absolutely brilliant. Really, really good. They have all of this sort of massive outdoor area as well. Oh, that there's a... One. It's been around. Been around. <laughs> There's a gibbon right above us. There. Yeah. <laughs> so really, really good. It, it's all sort of themed in there. It's sort of dark like a forest. It's sort of dappled light. Even the floor's all sort of squidgy and covered in leaves. So really, really good. Yeah, it's really good. Again, one of those more modern bits of the zoo. Uh, really worth visiting. So if you're here on a sunny day in summer, they have got this huge kids' yeah. splash pad. I mean, look at it. It looks amazing. I say, I... I thought we'd been here before, but I cannot remember any of this, and I certainly don't remember this. It looks fairly new, but wow, does it look good. If you've got like a toddler, they are gonna absolutely love this. If you do come here with your family and you wanna use the wet and wild changing facilities, they're just here. You don't get a lot of privacy, and it's like getting changed in a shed, but at least they have got somewhere just to get out of your wet clothes and put some dry stuff on. So we're just having a look in the gift shop as always. You can't visit a zoo without going in the gift shop. It is certainly big. There's plenty of choice. I have to say the choice of soft toys here is incredible. There's so many. That is our day here at Toy Cross Zoo over. Now for the review. Is it worth the money? Say, we paid about £19.95 per ticket. Um, we 
booked online, so I think we got it a little bit cheaper than if you pay on the gate. At the minute, I think you have to pay in advance because of kind of COVID restrictions. What did you think? I felt it kind of grew on me because at first it was like, we did try and like rush around so we could like get to the bigger attractions before like more people came in. Um, we got a little bit lost occasionally. Yeah, that's something I definitely think that it's not that easy to navigate around this uh, this zoo. There's a few sort of gates. Again, I don't know if it's for kind of COVID restrictions that they've shut bits off, um, but sometimes you did have to walk an awfully long way around to get to where you wanted to go. So what were your highlights today? I'd say mine was the gorillas, um, getting so close to them. Maybe we just got lucky, but we were so close to that big male gorilla, it is incredible. My favourite moment was definitely that lorikeet landing. Having them drink that nectar sort of sitting on your hand was absolutely brilliant. We'd never done that before. I know a few zoos have got that. How about value for money? What do you think? I think it's value for money. I think there's a lot still to see and bring your kids and family members and there's still a lot to look at. Yeah, so. and, and say those great apes, some of the new enclosures are really, really good. I think there are some parts of the zoo that are perhaps looking a bit old, a bit tired, but generally a really great place to visit. I think that's it for now. We're off. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.